Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakach Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let Aki am out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line and your lineage goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American. One of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel, a Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah with another lesson. And this lesson, we're going to go into what? The end of America, because one of the brothers just sent a video of a, of a Trump rally to the group chat, man. And these Americans are completely oblivious to the will of the almighty God, Yahweh. They're completely oblivious that according to biblical prophecy, America's fate is sealed. And the end result is going to be what? complete destruction by way of nuclear fire you see and, and none of these dumb americans they can't wrap their mind around or fathom this being the outcome of the most high's will you know because they're still in that spirit of thinking that trump is going to be elected to make america great again and god bless america and america's going to continue on forever and that's not the case man that is not the case the most high is about to repay Babylon, the great America, for what for what they've done unto his people, the Israelites. And it's, all, and it's all laid out in biblical prophecy. Your hope in the continuation of America is in vain, man, because that's not according to the Most High's will. <laughs> you see, it was never intended for America to continue on forever. And the Most High's revealed that to us and we're making it known to the world. Because what this World War Three brewing up, Every day is a day closer to nuclear missiles being shot upon this land, as it tells us in biblical prophecy, engulfing this entire, engulfing this entire place in nuclear flame, man. So that's what we're going to go into today. So we're going to start here in Revelation 18 and 4 says, <coughs> Salakia. Man, we can, we can get, we can start it from right here. Babylon, uh, Revelation 18 and 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lighted with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And this is going to be the fate of America. This place is going to be completely destroyed by way of nuclear fire to never to never rise again. And the only thing that's going to dwell in this place once the smoke clears, once the fire uh, uh, finishes burning, are going to be desert creatures, unclean birds. This is the fate of America. So all these people who are, who, are, who keep uttering this mantra or chanting this "God bless America, make America great again," you have no idea what's about to befall this place. You see, there's nothing blessed about America. This place has been completely cursed, and it's been like that from the beginning. You see, the Most High lays out plainly, clearly, what he's going to do to this place in biblical prophecy. And we're here to make it known unto you, being the Most High's prophets. Verse 3 says what? For all nations have, drunken, have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Through what? A taking on that U.S. dollar, uh, becoming rich by what? Importing their goods here to the land of America. You see, basically in bed with this place. You see, drinking the wine of this place. And this is why you see uh, a lot of nations becoming what? Americanized. Taking on this American way of thought. This uh, American American way of being, man. Which is a, a, a complete lifestyle of wickedness. Everything this place uh, brings forth is wicked, man. You see? Now verse 4 says what? And I heard another voice from heaven saying, 
come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye not and that ye receive not of her plagues. And what does that mean? We're coming up out of this place spiritually, mentally, departing from this place. We're not in the spirit like the rest of you people are in. Talking about God bless America. No, we're we're for the most high doing his will on the earth, and according to the most high's will, as he as he has revealed it to us through his Holy Spirit, America's fate is complete destruction. Suffering the same fate as Sodom and Gomorrah before it. We've been commanded as the Israelites, a so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, beginning with the remnant, we've been commanded to depart from this place, not to be in the same mind state as these, as these dumbass Americans are. You see, we're not looking for America to continue on for, for, for another 5, 10, 20 years. We're hastening the coming of the day of the Lord, which entails the destruction of this place. So we're leaving off from the wicked ways that we've been taught here in this place. We're coming back to the righteous way the Most High has told us to walk in. So what? We won't take. So we won't be partakers of these players that's coming. Because all hell is about to break loose here in America. And when it's all said and done, in the midst of World War III, America is going to be destroyed by way of nuclear fire, man. You see? So all that hoping and chanting for Donald Trump, all that shit is in vain. Verse 5 says what? For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the most I have remembered her iniquities. You see that? This place is littered with iniquity. It's littered with sin. You see it's stained with the blood of the Israelites, man. And this place, this place, this place has to pay for that. You see? Verse 6 says what? Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her according to all. And double unto her, double according to her works. And the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I am a queen and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. And that's the mindset of these people. And you're going to see that once I play this, rap, this, this Trump, uh, Trump rally video. You see, of him blasting, I'm proud to be in America over the over the PA system. People are chanting and crying. Do you not understand what this, this country was based and founded upon? How this country was established? Off the off the, off the backs of the Israelites, man. You Edomites have shed made the, the, the You shed the blood of the Israelites over every single inch of this country. And you got the nerve to talk about God bless America. You're proud to be an American. And this is why you you Americans here in the land of in the land of America, right along with you two thirds who refuse to depart from this place, you're about to suffer a great judgment, man. You can continue to think in your heart that America is going to continue on forever. You see, but you're sadly mistaken. Because the Most High is about to send great plagues upon this place. He's about to bring this place into a state of, of, of great sorrow. You see? And when it's all said and done, the Most High is going to bring despair upon you, which is a complete loss of hope. All this hope that you have right now, this false hope, yeah, and you have in Donald Trump, really, feel, you feel like he's your superhero, that he's going to deliver you from this condition, you see, of, 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 of uh, this uh, country collapsing. No, man, it's over. Your hope is in vain, man. Because there's nothing but sorrows, mourning, and woe coming here to the land of America. Verse 8 says what? Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. She shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord Yahweh who judgeth her. You see that? This is the fate of Babylon the great America. This wasn't talking about ancient Babylon because ancient Babylon, which is now modern day Iraq, was not taken out by way of fire. This is a future judgment, you see, that has been pronounced against this land known as America, which is actually Babylon the Great according to the scriptures. So now what we're going to do, now I don't want to get a copyright strike because they playing that bullshit as background in the uh, song in the background. Let me see if I can... Uh, I change the speed of it where they you know look past it we're gonna see here we go and so now 
it is my great privilege to introduce to you the one man on this earth who needs no introduction anywhere. That is the one and only, the man who has, can, and will make America great again. You see that? You got niggas in the background, everybody putting their hopes in Donald Trump that he's going to uh, cause America to snap back to what, it, what, to what it used to be. You see? That clueless ass nigga with that Trump hat on, man. Clueless. In a complete state of oblivion. Not understanding that the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is 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 uh hovering over this place, man. <laughs> you see this is about to be brought down very soon. playing that song I'm proud to be in America do you understand what it took for America to be established the way you see it today all these skyscrapers all these roadways all these different institutions you see all the different housing setups all these damn miles and miles of golf courses so forth and so on man don't you understand and know that for for America to be what we see that uh, see it is Today, major blood had to be shed. And what blood was that? The blood of the Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And you got all these people who are proud to be an American, right? So when the Most High brings that judgment, don't feel sorry for these motherfuckers, man. You see, because they're, they're in celebration of what their forefathers have done. They're proud of it. When you bring it up, they try to act like they so much better. No, they don't give a fuck. They are proud to be an American. They are proud of what their forefathers did to, to, to uh, gain this land, for this land to be built up. They're proud of it. And we're here to let you know, as the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, that you have to pay for what you've done unto his people. You see, because this land was established by way of rape, robbery, and murder, man, by mass genocide. You see? It was built up off the backs of slave, free slave labor for four centuries. You see? That's going to come at a price. And the price is what? You people, all these people here, and all the other ones, that's, that's going to be all these other trap rallies as he as he's out here on the campaign trail. You see who are, who are uplifting this nigga. You see? And hoping that he gets back in the office. Hey, even the Democrats, all of you have to pay for this. There's only way an atonement can be made for what you've done unto us so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans here in this land. And what does the scriptures tell us? The scriptures tell us Numbers 33, 35 and 33. This is Numbers 35 and 33. It says, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. You see that? Hold up. Numbers, th uh, numbers 35 and uh, 33 in the NOT. This will ensure that the land where you live will not be polluted. For murder pollutes the land. And no sacrifice except the execution of the murderer. Ooh, we can purify the land for murder. Woo! And how was this land established? By way of murder. By way of that sword, your blessing. You see, you committed mass genocide to get this land and have it built up the way you did. You see, because, hey, the Israelites are already here. All throughout this country, all, hey, from all the way from Central to South America, all the way up to Canada. The Northern Kingdom was here, man, flourishing. You goons came, first Christopher Columbus and his goons came, and they did what? They committed mass slaughter, man, committing murder. So the, so you, you, so you, all this chanting about God bless America, 
No, man, this land is cursed. This land is polluted with the blood of the Israelites. And the only way this land can be cleansed is by what? The murderers, you Edomites, you see, being executed. And that's exactly what the Most High is about to do with this destruction that he's going to send. You see, so yeah, keep going to your keep going to your rallies. You see, because the whole institution of America is is, is witness and uh, a witness against you that you're guilty. Everything that you see around you here in the land of America proves that these Edomites are guilty. They're guilty of murder, and they're gonna have to pay for it. Oh man, here we go. Let's get it. Call Allah Yabashmi Osha. Let's get this real quick. Ezekiel. 35 Ezekiel 35 and uh, 5 in the KJV Because I has had a perpetual hatred And has shed the blood of the children of Israel Which are so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans By the force of the sword In the time of their calamity In the time that their iniquity had an end You see that? That's, that's how you got this land, by way of the sword. You, and you murdered the Israelites to get it. This is just the truth of it, man. This is your American history. This is the, the history that you're proud of. You see? Verse 6 says what? Therefore, the, therefore as I live, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. That's what's coming. A judgment is coming your way, and you're going to have to pay for everything that you've done to all people in this land, man. So this land is not blessed. America is about to suffer the greatest form of judgment the world has ever seen. You see? There's nothing but death and destruction coming to this land. So all your hope in Donald Trump is in vain, man. And we're here to let you know. happening as long as niggas on the campaign trail niggas is just out there celebrating and celebrating the genocide of the israelites and you know hoping to make america great again god bless america right Nah, man no this place is finished and it's about to suffer utter destruction at the hand of yahweh so let's get a few more let's get uh oh man ezekiel 35 and 5 50 is it 50 let me turn this parallel off it's locked in mm -hmm. oh, let's start right here Jeremiah 50 and uh Nine it says, For lo, I raise and I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon, an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her, from thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man, none shall return in vain. And this is talking about all the nations that have thermonuclear capability, they're gonna fire their missiles upon this place. They're gonna they're gonna come up against this place. And Russia is gonna spearhead it. You see? Why? Because this is a punishment coming upon this place for what they've done unto the Israelites. They have to pay for all that bloodshed, man. They have to pay for all that murder of the northern and the southern kingdom. Verse 10 says what? And Chaldea shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. This is what awaits this place. Nothing blessed is coming to this place, man. You see, once again, your hope is in vain. Verse uh, 11, because you were glad, because you rejoice, or you destroyers of mine heritage. You see that? Because you are grown fat as a heifer at grass and bellowers bulls. And they and, and, 
And basically what they're doing right, right here when they say God bless America, make America great again, they're boasting in the fact of what they've done to uh, build this country up. They're boasting in the fact uh, uh, of completely slaughtering the Most High's heritage, which, which are the Israelites. So since you're in that spirit, this is the judgment that awaits you. Jeremiah 15 and 12, your mother shall be so confounded, which is what Great Britain, she that bear you shall be ashamed, and she's going to turn She's going to turn upon you as well. When it's all said and done, man, no allies None of the current allies that are standing with America will be standing with America when it's time for this place to be destroyed. Because hey, the Most High is gonna put the spirit upon the uh, put the spirit upon the uh, America's allies to turn upon this place, to do His will, to eat her flesh and burn her with fire, as it tells you in the Book of Revelation seventeen. That's the only outcome that's coming to this place: a hey, destruction by way of fire, man. It says what. Jeremiah 15 and 12, your mother shall be so confounded, she that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. And what's the hindermost of the nations? The hindermost of the nations is America. The sun sets here in the west. This is the land that the Most High has ordained to be destroyed by way of fire, man. And when, it's, when the smoke clears and the fire isn't burning anymore, it's going to become a what? A wilderness. A dry land and a desert. That's what America is about to become. Where's the blessing in that? You see? Ain't nothing blessed about this place. And the most I was about to show you people that firsthand. As he starts to unleash those spirits of vengeance. With the ultimate vengeance coming into what? The form of the nuclear missiles. Shit, and not only the missiles, when your Howard Shaw returns, he's gonna have it. He's gonna be shooting concentrated fire on this place. The angels are gonna be shooting concentrated fire on this place. There's nothing good coming to this land, man. <laughs> There's that man. Once again, your hope is in vain. You're hoping in something that's not gonna happen. Thirteen says what? Because of the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh it shall not be inhabited. But it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. Now, this is not talking about ancient uh, Babylon, which is modern day Iraq. Because according to the prophecy, it says, well, it shall not be inhabited. Iraq is inhabited to this day. This prophecy wasn't pertaining to that place. It's pertaining to this place that we're living in right now, known as America, which is about to become the lake of fire. It says this place is going to be wholly desolate, meaning nothing remaining in this place. Everything that you see around you is going to be completely erased as if it never existed. So the most I tell you, he's going, to, he's going to stretch the line of confusion upon this place. You're not going to know where one state started and another state ended, man. Jeremiah 50 and 13 says, well, everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and it hits it all her plagues. It tells you that in the book of Revelation 18. Verse 14 says what? Well, Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she have sinned against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And the Most High has the spirit upon these heathen nations to, to build up their nuclear arsenals, man. And all the nations that have those nuclear, those thermonuclear capability, you see, Having nuclear missiles, they're going to shoot their arrows upon this place. And once again, it's going to be spearheaded by Russia. You see? So where's the blessing in that? And, it's, and it says what? Because she have sinned against the Lord. It's all this wickedness that you see, that you see being pushed around just 24-7 just here in this place. It's all against the Most High, man. The Most High is not for this place, man. This is why it's about to suffer the same fate as Sodom and Gomorrah. The Most High has it out for America. <laughs> and the only ones who are going to escape this destruction is the one-third of the nation of Israel, man. Let me say it like this. The one-third of the remnant of Israel. 
Everybody else is going to be left to be what? To be burned the fuck up. All you Trump supporters. All you Biden supporters. Two thirds of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who refuse to repent. You're going to be left here to be burned up in this fire that's coming. Verse 15 says what? Shout it. Shout against her round about. She have given her hand. Her foundations are fallen. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of Yahweh. Take vengeance upon her. As she have done do unto her. You see that? All this wickedness that America's been doing in the earth, man, it's, it's, it's finally going to catch up to you. It's going to come back up. It's going to come back upon this place. All the rape, robbery, and murder that you've committed against the Israelites is, is going to be repaid back unto you. In the form of the harshest judgment this world has ever seen before. You see? The most high is about to pour his vengeance upon this place, man. Let's get a few more. Let's get uh, Isaiah. This is one of my favorites to go into. Isaiah 34. And we'll start at 5. It says what? For my sword shall be bathed in heaven, which goes into the ICBM missiles. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Who is Idumia? Idumia represents America today, man. And all you proud as Edomites in it. That's what, the, that's what the majority of these nuclear missiles are coming to. They're coming here to the land of Idumia, which is America, the chief dwelling place of you Edomites. The land that you're so proud of. You see, the, the glory of the nations, man. It says what? And upon the people of my curse to judgment. That's what you Edomites are. You're the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. And it's time, you, it's time for you to pay for what you've done unto our people. This is your punishment finally coming upon you for how you for how you raped, robbed, and murdered to, to acquire the land of America. Your punishment is finally coming upon you for how you had this land built up off the backs uh, of the southern kingdom, man, so-called uh, so uh, blacks, West Indians, and Haitians, man. This is the judgment that the most I had reserved for you this entire time when you thought you got away scot-free. Nah. You was just being you was just being reserved for the day. You see? You were just being reserved. That's all it was. You didn't get away. The most I didn't forget. That's why the scriptures tell you the most I will not at all equip the wicked. You thought you were home free. <laughs> you see, but you what you didn't take into, into account was the most I raising up the prophets here in these last days to pronounce your judgment against you. And yeah, how about Shimi How Shah is about to execute that judgment very soon, man. Verse 6 says what? The sword of Yahweh is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah have a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia, which represents America. You see, Basra and Idumia are both code words for this land known as America. This is the chief dwelling place of of you Edomites. This is the ca capital of the Edomite Empire. You see? The land that you're so proud of. The shining light to the rest of the world. You see? The Most High has, has prepared a great slaughter. And you and you people. You dumbass Americans. Right along with you two thirds of Israel. You are going to be. The animals. For the sacrifice. You're going to be food for the fire. Verse 7 says what? And the unicorn shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. Because this is the only way the land can be cleansed. Of the murder that you've committed in it, by you being executed, you see, by the murderer being put to death. And this is why, all of you Americans are going to be left here on the soils of America when those nukes start to fall and you are going to be burned up to a crisp ashes. You see, and why is the most I say he doing this? Verse 8, for it is the day of Yahweh's vengeance and the year of recompenses or repayments for the controversy of Zion, repayment for what you've done unto the Israelites. 
repayment for what you've done to us so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans this entire time you had us here in the land of America. Going all the way back to Christopher Columbus. You've just built up a track record, man. You see? And now it's time for you to pay. Verse 9 says what? And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall become burning pitch. This didn't happen to ancient Babylon, man. This is a future prophecy pertaining to America. You see, and with, world, and with us being in the midst of the beginning stages of World War III, that shit going to continue to intensify. And before you know it, you're going to look up and nuclear warheads are going to be raining down upon this land known as America. And everything in this land and everyone that you see here is going to be what? Touched by that fire. The only ones who are going to escape is the one third of the remnant of Israel. You see? Verse 10 says what? It shall not be quenched night nor day. The smoke thereof shall go up forever. From generation to generation it shall lie waste. None shall pass through it forever and ever. Once again, this, this did not happen to ancient Babylon because you still have people living in that land to this day. Hell, ancient Babylon, modern day Iraq, they have a, a national soccer team, man. That plays in the, uh, the, the, in the fucking FIFA World Cup. That wouldn't be a thing if this prophecy pertained to... Uh, Ancient Babylon, which is modern day Iraq. Shit, there would be no modern, <laughs> no modern day Iraq if this prophecy was pertaining to ancient Babylon because it wouldn't be there. You see, once again, this this prophecy right here is a future prophecy pertaining to the destruction of America. This is the land that no one will ha inhabit ever again. This is the land that's going to be desolate from generation to generation. And once the smoke clears and the fire finishes burning, the only thing that's going to be left here is what, as it tells you in verse eleven. But the cormorant and the bittern shall possess it. The owl also and the raven shall dwell in it. And he shall stretch upon it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness. There it is. You see that? That precepts right to what we're reading in uh, Revelation 18. That Babylon has become a habitation and a cage for every foul spirit. In the cage, uh, yeah, a habitation for every foul spirit and a cage for every unclean and hateful bird. All that once, like we, we went into the lesson yesterday. Everything... That was being taught in the New Testament was based and founded upon something that was written and said in the old. You see, in the destruction of America is no different. The, the, the destruction of this land known as America has been prophesied about being destroyed multiple times through the mouth of many prophets. Because this is the most high's will. This is what he has planned for this place. Ain't no blessings coming here. Ain't no God blessing America, man. You see, this place is being cursed. You see? But this is what's coming. Once I say you're going to stretch the line of confusion upon this place. Once again, everything that you see around you is going to be completely dissolved. And nothing of this place will be left, man. Let's get Isaiah 13. Babylon will fall to the Medes. This is talking about what? The Russians destroy a spearhead in the destruction of America. That's how it's about to play out. As World War III continues to intensify, I best believe that uh, America and Russia are going to be dra dragged into the uh, in, into the fray and the fullness of it. And when it's all said and done, Russia is going to spearhead the destruction of this land known as America according to the Most High's will. This is what the Most High has laid out in prophecy. And you don't, you don't have to believe it. You don't have to believe it, but the day is going to come you see, <laughs> when everything that we've been saying is going to be right there in your face, and it's already happening, you just in denial, you don't want to believe it's true, but everything that the prophets have been saying, beginning with our apostles and elders, is happening right before your eyes, you see, and, and this destruction that's coming to America, hey, it's going to happen, no man knows the time of the hour, but we know according to the Most High's will, it's going to be done. We know that the Most High does not speak words in vain. He spoke these words for the purpose and is going to fulfill his will. It's going to do all his pleasure. And it's going to please the Most High for America to be completely destroyed by way of nuclear fire, man. That's why he said it so many times through the prophets. The Most High is not fucking around with this. So you can continue to go to your Trump rallies and God bless America, wear your MAGA hats, 
Do your thing. But we're letting you know right now that all that hope that you have for America to be restored to what it used to be, it's in vain, man. It is in vain. Isaiah 13 and 17 says what? Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Ain't going to no, be no bribing your way up out of this one. Ain't going to be no way of giving uh, Russia money to to uh, draw back or pull back. No, it's the most high's will for this thing to move forward. You see? And the most high's counsel to be accomplished. Verse 18 says what? Their bowls also shall dash the young men to pieces. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. You see that? When these missiles are shot, uh, shut off, they're going to destroy it indiscriminately, man. They're not going to give a damn about if you're a man, woman, or a child. Everyone who are, who are, everyone who's left on the shores of America, when these missiles start to fall, that's it for you. You see? If you are here while this place is being engulfed in fire, if you're, let me just say it like this. If you're not a part of the elect of Israel, you're going to be left here on the shores of America to be burned completely to, uh, to, to ash, man. No matter if you're a man, woman, or child. Verse 19 says what? And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, you see that? That's what America is. Everyone leaves their country to come here to live what? The American dream. That's how it was for a long, long time, man. Because this is the glory of kingdoms. That's who this prophecy is pertaining to, America. And a lot of you, you suffer from cognitive dissonance. You don't want to believe that it's true. You see? But we're here to tell you, we're here to give you the reality of it, man. The wrath of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is kindled above this place. And you're going to see, as we move on, the days go by, this place is going to continue to get worse and worse and worse. Until what? The destruction comes. And it says what? Isaiah 13 and 19. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, ancient Babylon, didn't, ancient Babylon didn't go out the way Sodom and Gomorrah went out. How did Sodom and Gomorrah go out? According to what's written, it went out by way of fire and brimstone raining from the skies. That's the same fate that awaits America. Fire is going to rain from the skies. This time it's going to be in the form of 200 million thermonuclear warheads. And everything in this place is going to be burned up. That's why the Apostle Peter says what? The elements shall melt with fervent heat. That holy fire is coming, man. You see? And Lord willing, we be the, be a part of that number to to uh to be showed mercy, be saved from it, man. Verse 20 says what? It shall never be inhabited again. It's like it shall never be inhabited. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pinch tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. There it is. This is how we know it's not talking about ancient Babylon because people are still dwelling there. You still have shepherds over there. You see? You still have marketplaces over there in ancient Babylon. Once again, they have a national fucking soccer team, man. An international soccer team, if I'm not, not mistaken. Or a national soccer team, yeah. Whatever it is. But that's what they have. You see? That wouldn't be a thing if this prophecy was pertaining to ancient Babylon. You see, we have it in the history where uh, ancient Babylon was taken out the way Sodom and Gomorrah was taken out. But we don't see that in history because this prophecy was not talking about ancient Babylon. This is a place being talked about in the future. And that place is talking about America. For all you naysayers and you doubters, man. You see that? Verse 21 says what? Wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures. And owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And that's what's going to happen when, 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 once this place finishes burning, after however long the most high seeds fit to allow it to burn. Well, you know what? It's going to burn until everything is completely dissolved. 
That's how long it's gonna burn. And there won't be a <laughs> man. That won't. There won't be a trace. You see. Of America's existence. Ain't gonna be no motherfuckers coming over here excavating, find, finding Game Boy advances, <laughs> finding a fucking cat, Cadillac hub cap. You know what I'm saying? Or like they show you in that uh, that Planet of the Apes, man, the one, the first, the the first one. How they show you that the Statue of Liberty is hand sticking up out of the sand? No, it won't be any of that here. This place is gonna be made completely desolate. Not gonna find a fucking a fucking Idaho license plate somewhere. No, man. Nothing will be left. Everything will be completely burned to ash. You see, and once it gets to that point where nothing is left, all the skyscrapers are gone, all the roadways are completely dissolved, you see? That's when those desert creatures are going to come in here and make come here and make their habitation here. And this place is going to be made a monument for the rest of the world to keep in remembrance of how not to live, of what not to be. You see that? There's nothing blessed about America. For all you Israelites who are still in that dumbass spirit, hey man, you better get your mind right. Because the most I has it out for this place. And that time of judgment is about to be, be open fully here in the earth, especially here in America, man. When it's, and when it's all said and done, fire will rain from the heavens. And this place that you know is America, which is actually Babylon the Great in the Scriptures, is going to be completely erased according to the Most High's will, man. Isaiah 13 and 22. And her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. Hey, it's over for this place. It's over. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, the Almighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, has set this place up to suffer a horrific <laughs> judgment. And it will be done, man. And with that, I'm going to end it by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let I came out there, pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Abba, Abba.